Hi, David Lear reporting for Room Now from the last day of July 2021. It's been a really smooth experience this time. There's been lots of good content. Uh, and in particular, I just want to run through some of the RA work that's been done around stress and autoimmunity. Now, I think when these things first started to be discussed um, going back a few years, it's understandably a little bit of scepticism as to how robust this relationship is um, how it might be how robust the um, the connections might be across how biologically plausible they might be. I think we've started to see um, this come out a little bit more in the science, but then there have always been questions about how robust the observational data might be in terms of an association between stress precipitating autoimmunity. And that there all might be all sorts of epidemi epidemiological features which might um, skew the observations to see that. But we're starting to see more and more repeated observations and importantly in different cultural contexts as well. So that's the context for an abstract poster a 310 from the abstract floor, from the poster floor today, uh, the virtual poster floor, which followed, which is Pakistani data, which followed on from data that um, we saw last year at ULA at the virtual EULA last year from the Catch Canada Early Arthritis Cohort. So firstly, that Catch Canada Early Arthritis Cohort, they looked at a stressful event, a negative stressful event in the uh, major life event in the one year prior to rheumatoid arthritis diagnosis, looked at their cohort, saw how many of them had that, saw what the associations were. And in that, they saw that big proportion uh, of their patients had a big stressful life event in the lead up to it in, in, a, in a quite a large cohort, much more so than the overall population. Um, and really that was associated with worse disease activity, a worse a whole lot of out outcomes, but, um, both objective and subjective. What have we seen in the Pakistani cohort? 507 patients from Lahore in Pakistan. And we see exactly the same thing, that we see higher rates of a major negative stressful event in the one year prior to the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. And this cuts across age, cuts across sex, cuts across marital status. And more importantly, this is associated with current active disease. So I think this makes us start to reflect about where the role of stress might be in precipitating autoimmunity and potentially um, sustaining autoimmunity. There have been some other good discussions at ULR about this. Um, but I think this is increasingly something that we've got to look at across autoimmune diseases, but particularly in RA, and really delve in to see if we can learn some lessons from it. I'm David Liu, and there's plenty more great ULI 2021 content at roomnow.com.